<clears throat> this is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11, and it reads, And that knowing the time that now it is high time that we got to sleep, for now our salvation nearer than we believe. Shalom, first and foremost, like give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Okar Kadash. Double honors to the elders who preach the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shalom on to y'all out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out as of January 6, 2023, at 10.49 p.m. Set your center time on this Friday night. And as I bring out the uh, Romans 13 and 11, you know, for now it's higher time to wake out of sleep. You know, it's, you know you're children of Israel. <clears throat> the children of Israel that have been scattered through the four corners of the globe, you know. We are the children of Israel. You know, we are the uh, Israelites, uh, Hebrew Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures. You know, for now it's a uh, high time to wake out of sleep because now our salvation near them would believe because we see these uh, prophecies uh, take effect on the planet Earth, you know, with the wars and rumors of wars, uh, nations against nations, kingdom against kingdoms, uh, the digital currency, which is the MOTB. And you can read that in the uh, book of uh, Revelations 13 and 16 through verse 18. Right, Revelations 13 and 16 through verse 18. That's the MOTB, the Karagma of a digital currency coming soon. So these prophecies are definitely coming to pass. You know, even though a remnant of Israel is going to be saved, for now it's high time that we got to sleep because our salvation is nearer than we believe. Because we're seeing all these uh, pestilence, these uh, plagues, these uh, events that's taking on, that's on the planet Earth, you know. So now it's high time that we got to sleep, you know. Because our salvation is nearer than we believe, you know. And we're seeing these signs uh, increase, you know. And I'm going to read it again for edification's sake. And this applies to the children of Israel, because we are the children of Israel, you know. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep for our salvation is nearer than we believe. And this is uh, 1 Peter 4 and 7. But the end of all things is at hand. But ye therefore, uh, uh, be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Right, because we are the watchmen of the house of Israel. Uh, that's why we do these sit down lessons. And you see the men of the Lord that's on the highways and byways that's preaching his word through the four corners of the globe, you know. That's why I brought out Romans 13 and 11. For now it's high time to wake out of sleep for salvation there that we believe. But only a remnant is going to be, uh, uh, only a remnant is going to be saved, you know. And that's the elect men of uh, Yasharala. Because Yasharala, he is the prince of the power. You know, the men of the Lord. You see how out there on the highways and byways preaching the word truthfully and sincerely you know bringing out the scriptures the right correct the right uh correct way you know the uh, that's why we get double honors to the elders you know in the uh respect and reverence to the uh double honors to the elders respect to the uh deacons and the bishops and the akim that's our through the four corners of the globe preaching this word truthfully and sincerely you know for the children of israel because we are the uh, israelites or hebrew israelites according to the holy scriptures from one of the respectable tribes of israel you know from uh judah from judah benjamin levi simeon Lapdali, you know all the 
the tribes of Israel, you know, from uh, Judah to uh, Issachar, Zebulon, Naphtali, Benjamin, Levi, you know, we are the, the tribes of Israel that have been scattered through the four corners of the globe. Just like in ancient time, the Israelites were dark skinned, complected. They are, uh, even though we've been scattered through all the four corners of the globe, we've been scattered amongst all the nations. Just like the Israelites was dark skinned back then, they are dark skinned modern day today, you know. That's why we are the children of Israel. Those small hatters over there in the land of Israel, or the small hatters claiming they sales to be, uh, claiming they sales to be the children of Israel, which is false. The real children of Israel is the so-called African Americans, and the ones that's been dispersed through the four corners of the globe. They are the children of Israel. They was dark skinned back then. They are dark skinned right now. Because we are different, different shades of brown to the lighter brown to the darker brown. So yeah, this is uh, this is uh, these scriptures are applies to the children of Israel, and this is uh, and I'm gonna read it again. This is the book of Romans, chapter thirteen, verse eleven, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe, right? Because we're seeing these things taking place on the planet Earth. You know, that's why we got to uh, watch uh, watch and pray and, and be sober, you know, S sober spiritually, you know, spiritually and mentally, you know, because in the times that we are entering in, you know, the Jeremiah 30, 30 and 7, for the time that uh, Jacob's trouble, etc., you know. So now it's high time that we got to sleep because our salvation is near than we believe, you know. Because, you know, we're, uh, that's why we uh, do the will and work, work of the Lord to the best of our ability. Because, you know, like the scripture says, uh, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So that's what we do. Do the work of the Lord to the best of our abilities. You know, do sit down lessons, be out on the highways and byways. That's what you see the men of the Lord doing, you know. And bring the uh, scriptures out the right, correct way, you know. And try to, uh, you know, uh, follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. As being sons of Jacob, you know, sons of the Most High, you know. And this is uh, First Peter four and seven. We'll go to this next precept. We'll bring this out again. First Peter 4 and 7 But the end of all things Is at hand Be ye therefore sober And watch unto prayer Right cause we gotta watch unto prayer You know that's why we are the uh, You know the watchmen Watchmen of the house of Israel Cause we uh Watch for these prophecies Do these uh, lessons Bring out the scriptures You know that's why we being on our watch you know that watchman been on watchman on that tower for uh, Israel, you know. And that's why the men of the Lord are sounding the alarm of these uh prophecies, because these uh prophecies are taking place on the planet of the earth. That's why the house of Israel is sounding the alarm. Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring out that scripture since I've mentioned it. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound the alarm in my holy mountains, and let all the habitations of the land tremble for the day of, for the, day of the Lord come, for it, for it is nigh at hand, right? Because we send these, uh, that's why you see the men of the Lord that's out there on the highways and byways. Preaching the uh, word of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, as well, too. That's why you see the men of the Lord, the ambassadors, 
the representation of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shad too. You know, the, the sons, the sons of uh, Yasharala, the sons of the Prince of Power, you know, the men of the Lord, the Israelites that's out on the highways and byways, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely with meekness, humble, and sincerely. That's why they on air watch. Just like Isaiah 50, 58 and 1 said, Cry aloud, spare not. Let them be a voice like a trumpet. And show my people their, uh, show my people their, uh, transgressions in the house of Israel for their sins. This is uh, Isaiah 51. So definitely it's now it's high time and we got to sleep. It's like I broke out Romans 13 11. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Right, spare not your feelings. That's what I had to learn. Still learn. <laughs> I admit that. Uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. Right? The house of Jacob is the Israelites of uh, African American descent, you know, and the rest of the tribes on down, you know, in that order, you know. Because, like I mentioned before, Israel been scattered through the four corners of the globe. Like Hosea 1 and 10 said, Israel shall be the sand and sea. So we've been scattered through all over. We've been scattered through all over. We just not only in uh, North, Central, and South America. You know, we're scattered all over the places. And we're not just only, what you call that, uh, we're not just only 12% of the population. We're more high numbered in that, you know. Because you got Israel throughout, throughout uh, Africa. You got Israel in the western part of Africa, Central Africa, uh, West Coast of Africa, the south part of Africa, the northern part of Africa, and the central part of Africa. Because Israel is scattered in Europe. Uh, Israel is scattered in uh, South Holland. Uh, Israel is scattered in the Caribbean, the islands. You know, uh, Israel scattered all over the place. You got Israel in Jamaica. You got Israel in uh, Barbados. You got Israel in the Bahamas. So Israel is scattered all over the place, you know. So that's why you're seeing the men of the Lord through the four corners of the globe, through the four winds of the globe, preaching this word truth and sincerely. You know, that's why uh, Romans 13 and 11 says, for now it's high time to wake out of sleep. Now salvation there than we believe, you know. In 1 Peter 4 and 7, watch unto prayer and be sober. Be sober uh, spiritually, you know, because your, your mind is your heart. I mean, your heart is your mind, you know. Be uh, spiritually sober. It's not talking about being drunk and drunk and all that, you know, it's talking about being spiritually sober of the things that's taking place on the planet Earth, you know, these are uh, prophecies on, on the folk. So, the Heavenly Father giving us clues that's what's going on on the planet Earth with these scriptures for us to learn, you know. And that's why you're seeing the men of the Lord sound the alarm blowing in the trumpet in Zion, you know to warn and wake up the children of Israel, you know, even though a remnant is going to be saved, you know, and Lord willing, us men of the Lord, you know, we are, Lord willing, we'll be in that number, Lord willing, we'll be the elect, you know, that's why we uh, constantly do these uh, videos, these sit-down lessons, edifying, edifying the sheep. Like the scripture says, uh, if you love me, feed my sheep. Was the children of Israel uh, that scattered through the four corners of the globe, you know, waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Even though uh, two thirds of Israel is not going to make it, but one third of the remnant is, you know. That's why, you know, they the men of the Lord is sound the alarm and blowing the trumpet in Zion, you know. And I'm going to bring it out again. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. 
lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and slew my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. Right, that's talking about the Israelites, talking about us. You know, he's seeing the men of the Lord uh, show my people their transgressions. Right, because uh, uh, sin is transgression of law, you know. That's why you see the man of the Lord lifting up their voices like a trumpet, sound the alarm, that being a watchman unto the house of Israel, you know. They're saying what's prophecies that's taking place on the earth. You know, that's why they do these sit down lessons. They out be on the highways and byways preaching the word of the heavenly father and his only begotten son to wake up the children of Israel, the actual real children of Israel. Not the small hatters, not the small hatters over there in the land of Israel right now, because those are not the people of the Lord. The people of the Lord is uh, dark skinned, complected people, which was what you would call uh, so called African American or Negroes. They are the children of Israel, you know, because all the, the tribes of Israel were dark skinned, complected people, just like they was in ancient times. When they was in under the, the Egyptian captivity, and they are dark skinned today, uh, dark brown complected to the lighter brown to the darker uh, brown, you know, because they are different shades of brown to the lighter brown to the darker brown. They are the real children of Israel, and still to this day, you know, and a lot of Israel starting to wake up to who who they actually really are. That's why I brought out the Romans 13, 11. For now it's high time to wake out of sleep. Now it's salvation nearer than we believe in it. Because we see an increase in signs of it, you know. And I'm going to bring this out again. This is the book of Joel 2, verse 1, and it reads, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And that's what the man of the Lord doing blowing the trumpet in Zion. And they being a watchman unto the house of Israel. And, uh, we bring that out as well too. Since I mentioned, uh, since I mentioned it about uh, two or three times. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 7 and it reads Son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the words at my mouth and give them warning for me right because we are the mouthpieces of uh, the heavenly fathers only we got the son Yahweh Shai you know the son of man which is uh what you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which is uh, his true name in the Hebrew is uh, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior, uh, the Yahweh Shai, you know, because he's the son of man, you know, because he made us a watchman unto the house of Israel, you know, that's why we are being a watchman of uh, watching these uh, prophecies, you know, that's why we be in the news like that, doing these uh, sit down lessons. Because as you see, I, <laughs> you know, I do it a lot of, uh, you know, I, I'll be focused on mainly a lot of, uh, like, uh, news about war, wars that's going on with the Russia-Ukraine situation. You know, I'll be doing sit-down lessons with the stocks and markets and, you know, and stuff like that. It's basically, but mostly, like, about wars and rumors of wars of the uh, wars that's going on around the world with the Russia-Ukraine situation, the uh, North Korea, South Korea, you know, stuff like that, an example. So those just are prime examples of uh, being a watchman, being a watchman of what's going on around the world, you know. 
even though we look what's going on around within our inner circle but what's going on around the world mainly what's going on around the world and watching these uh prophecies and and being ambassadors being uh mouthpieces being representation of the heavenly father and yahweh like the scripture says uh you are the light uh, you are the light of the world you know you are the light to the gentiles you know and we're uh that's why we're doing the word of the lord and uh bringing out the scriptures the right correct way you know because we are the light to the gentiles you know? the scripture says you are the light of the world you know you know that's just primary examples etc you know this is ezekiel 3 and 7 i'm gonna bring it out again uh, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Right? Because the servants, the, 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 the servants, the prophets, the ambassadors of Yahweh, you know. <coughs> and that's what the man of the Lord are doing. He set us as watchmen unto the house of Israel, being a watchman of uh, what's going on around the world, you know. And doing doing these lessons and doing the will the work of the Lord, you know. Right, and uh, therefore hear the words at my mouth and give them warning. Right, because the Heavenly Father, uh, only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, He told us to warn them, give them warning. That's the children of Israel. And, and the foot of the children of Israel that still that they don't know that they are Israel so that's why we're doing these uh, lessons so they can be edified you know if they take heed to it or not that's why the Heavenly Father set out men the Lord I mean the Heavenly Father's only got son sent his servants the prophets to warn his people of, of what's about to come that's why, you know, we are the watchmen of the house of Israel. That's why the Heavenly Father, only begotten Son, I sent you to warn them, you know. You know, he sent us as us being a uh, mouthpiece of Yahweh Shai. You know, we are the mouthpiece and representation of Yahweh Shai. You know, that's why he ordered us to warn our people of what's about to come on the planet earth you know about these uh prophecies that's coming with the MOTB the digital currency you know if you take that uh MOTB it is going to be consequences for that you know you can read that in Revelations 4 and 9 I believe through 10 you know and then you cannot be uh you cannot be on that James 1 and 8 that double-minded spirit either you down with the heavenly father and his only begotten son or you're just the ways of this world like the scripture says uh love not the world need are the things that are in the world if the love if you are if you are uh, the love of this world that means you the love of the heavenly father is not in you uh, i believe that's in the book of john i believe so that's just, you know, that's just prime examples, you know. That's why the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son set up watchmen to warn them, to warn them from, from me, which is uh, Yahweh Shai, you know. He sent out servants, the true prophets of Yahweh Shai and ambassadors of Yahweh Shai and the mouthpiece and representation, which is the men of the Lord, the servants, the true prophets of Yahweh Shai, you know, which is... Uh, the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is the children of Israel, which is us, you know, out on the highways and byways and doing these lessons to warn and uh, wake up the children of Israel, you know. And I'm going to go back to the, uh, the main scriptures that I just brought out for this sit-down lesson. And this is the book of Romans, chapter 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Right? Now it's high time to wake out of sleep. Because we're seeing these uh, prophecies take place. You know, we're seeing the division between the nations and different kingdoms. We're seeing these uh, wars and rumors of wars. All these are signs. 
of the uh, the close return of our Lord and Savior, which is Yahabashai, you know. So now it's uh, Romans 13 11. You know, now it's high time to wake out of sleep. You children of Israel. You children of Israel that scatter here in America and scattered through the four corners of the globe. You know, now it's a uh, high time to wake out of sleep. That's why I Romans 13 11. That's why I'm bringing the scripture out. That's why I'm doing this uh, sit down lesson to the best of my ability, you know. You know, it, I might not break it down 100% correct, but at least I try to do it to the best of my ability, you know, because I'm still, I'm still learning these scriptures, you know, I'm still learning, you know, as I progress this on to the best of my ability, you know. That's why I asked, uh, that's why I asked the Heavenly Father, his only begotten son, for, you know, for repentance and forgiveness to the best of my ability, you know. And I'm going to bring it out again. This is uh, Romans 13 and 11. And it reads, And that knowing the time that now is high time to wake up our sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Right? Salvation is nearer than we believe, you know? So that's why we are uh, doing the will of the work of the Lord to the best of our ability to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Like the scripture says, if you... Uh, you know, if you love me, feed my sheep. And that's what the man of the Lord out there doing on the highways and byways, you know, in, see, in season, out of season, you know, through the four corners of the globe, waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, even though, once again, a, rem a remnant is going to be saved, you know, and Lord willing, we be part of that remnant of the elect, you know. Preaching this word truthfully and sincerely, meekness is humbleness, and we fighting for our salvation. You know, and that's what the men of the Lord are doing. And trying to uh, warn and wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's why I uh, brought out Romans 13 and 11. For now, it is a uh, high time to wake up and speak. And salvation is nearer than we believe. And I'm going to bring out four P uh, 1 Peter 4 and 7. And it reads, But the end of all things is at hand. But ye therefore, uh, but ye therefore sober, be ye therefore sober, meant say Salaki, and watch unto prayer. Right, that's why we watch unto prayer. Keeping these law statutes commandments to the best of our ability, and pray to the Heavenly Father for forgiveness and mercy, you know, for we still have the chance of repentance, you know. Because the door of repentance is closed very shortly, you know. Because like scripture says, seek the Lord while, while he may be found, you know. And he's being found right now, you know. That's why he, uh, because the Heavenly Father, he's a merciful, merciful Father, you know. Him and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, you know, he's a merciful, uh, he's a merciful God. And forgiving God as well too, you know. That's why it's high time to wake out of sleep and wake up and warn the lost sheep of the house of Israel uh, of what's coming on this planet Earth and what's about to take place on this planet Earth. Uh, currently, that's uh, about to come up in the near future and currently as well too. So now it's high time to wake out of sleep for our salvation nearer than we believe, you know, because we're fighting for salvation, you know. That's what the men of the Lord are doing, you know. The royal children of Israel, you know. The, the, the sons of the Most High. You know, the sons of Yahweh. You know. And this is 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 5 to verse 8. Verse 5. Ye are, ye are the children of the light. Right, the children of the light is the Israelites. You know, that's scattered through the four corners of the globe. That's out on the highways and byways, preaching the word, trying to warn and wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because, you know, we are the children of the light. It might not look like it because of our reputation as being uh, criminals and thugs and all that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the one that's in this truth, that's uh, seeking righteousness, you know, that's the children of Israel, which is us. 
you know, the so-called African Americans of Negro descent are the tribes of Israel, you know, because we are the light, you know, we are the light, you know. This is a uh, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse five to verse eight, and verse five. Ye are the children of the light, and the children of the day, and we are, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. And it says, uh, it says, therefore, let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Watch, because we gotta watch and be sober, sober spiritually. You know, watch soberly, spiritually, sober in the mind, you know, spiritually and sober in the mind as well, too. Of these uh, prophecies we uh, see, seeing that's uh, taking place on the planet Earth, you know. And that's what the man of the Lord doing. We're watching and praying and not fall asleep and, and, and be sober spiritually, you know. And that's what the man of the Lord doing, you know. Uh, verse 8 First Thessalonians 5 verse 5 to verse 8 and it reads through the Holy Scriptures but let us who are of the day be sober put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet and hope for salvation right because we are hoping for uh, salvation and we are fighting for salvation to the best of our ability you know the men of the Lord that's on the highways and byways and doing the uh, Law and statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, and waking up, and waking up as being Israelites, you know, waking up as being Hebrew Israelites, of uh, being one of the lost twelve, uh, one of the lost uh, tribes of Israel, you know, and that's been scattered through the four corners of the globe, you know, here in America and around the world as well too, where, where we've been scattered at, you know, that's why we are. Uh, watching and praying and hoping for salvation that's why we are trying to warn and wake up our people you know the israelites you know that are the sons and daughters of the most high which is us you know the daughters of zion and the sons of men i mean uh the, the you know the man the man that i have the father which is the israelites which is us you know This is Ephesians 5 and 14. Uh, wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. Right, arise from the dead spiritually. Because Israel in a spiritually dead state right now, you know. Because like the scripture says in the book of Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? You know, that's why the men of the Lord and the servants and the prophets said, you know, we're working out, out of that, uh, dry bone state, you know, that's why the children of Israel are awakening of who they are, you know, waking up the valley of dry bones, which is the children of Israel, which is us, you know, that's why you see the, uh, that's why you're seeing the uh, Israelites out there on the highways and byways, they out there uh, on Fridays and Saturdays as well too, or whatever, any given day when they out there preaching the word. Waking up the valley of the dry bones, you know. Waking up the uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know. Ephesians 5 and 14, and it reads, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. And Hamashiach Yahweh should give thee light. Right, our Lord and our Savior should give thee light, and should wake us out from the dead sleep state that we are in, you know. And that's why uh, scripture says in the last days, you know, in the last days we should be we should wake up. And that's what you you know, and that's what you're seeing, you know. The the awakening of the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know. And there's gonna be more awakening in the latter days as well too. That's what you're seeing. And that's why I brought out the Romans 13 11. For now it's high time we got to sleep. And salvation is there that we believe. You know? uh, 
this is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 34. Awaken to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of your Bible. I speak this to you, your shame. Right, you know, awaken to righteousness, come back into the fold of you being an Israelite and keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability and continue to do the will and the work of the Lord of these sit-down lessons, be out on highways and byways, trying to learn to wake up our people, you know, and tell them to, to seek righteousness to the best of their ability, you know, and for us as well too, continue to seek the righteous path of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai as well too, you know. Uh, this is another scripture, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 1 and verse 3. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Right, so that's what the man of the Lord, uh, the servants, the true prophets of Yahweh Shai. You know, the man of the Lord continue to do the will and the work of the Lord, you know. And for these times and seasons, that's what we're currently living in right now, you know. Because the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, like as the scripture has says. You know, Yahweh Shai should come as a thief in the night. You know, we're seeing signs of that. I mean, we don't know when the, the hour or the day or time or the year when the uh, the Son of Man, uh, Yahweh Shai, will come, if, you know. But we are definitely seeing signs of it, you know. Like the scripture said, he should come as a thief in the night. You know, be caught off guard when, when his coming, you know, because we're seeing signs of it, you know. In uh, verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden scripture come upon them as a travail upon a woman with a child, they shall not escape. Right, because uh, judgment is coming uh, on this planet Earth, you know. Like the scripture says, they shall think peace and safety, you know. Like the scripture says, for there, when there is a, I think that's an Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastics 3, I believe. When they said there's a time and a season for everything, you know. You know, because we are living in a time of uh, speaking of prophecies that's coming out. And then we are living in a time of uh, uprising of, of wars and people in the world and wars that's going on. That's what we are seeing. You know, there's a time of uh, speaking prophecies, and there's a time of uh, war, and that's the time we're living in, you know. Like scripture says, for one they shall say, peace and safety, then something supposed to come upon them, you know. So that's why it's important for us, men of the Lord, do the will, the work of the Lord to the best of our ability. You know, uh, doing these lessons, keeping the law, that's the commandments to the best of our ability, and wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know. Even though one third is gonna be saved and two thirds is not gonna make it, you know. So that's why Romans 13 and 11 is important. For now it's high time to wake out of sleep and salvation is near than we believe, you know. Uh, this is Matthew 24, 42, verse 44. And it reads, uh, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour the Lord thou cometh. But know this, that if the good man of the house hath known in what watch if these were coming, he would have watched and what 
do not have suffered his house to be broken up. Verse 44, therefore ye also ready for such an hour as ye think not the son of man come. Right, oh, so that's why the man of the Lord is uh, being on the watch, you know. The watchman doing the will of the work of the Lord to the best of our ability, you know. Because we don't want to get caught off guard, you know, when the Son of Man comes in, man. Because we, we're seeing signs of that, you know. That's why, you know, uh, the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, you know, for us to uh, wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel and warn them for what's about to come on the planet Earth, you know. So we're, we definitely got to be on our watch. That's what the men of the Lord are doing, you know. Blowing ye the trumpet in Zion. And he set up a watchman unto the house of Israel. Because the Heavenly Father set up. The Heavenly Father, the high one, his only begotten son, set up to, for the children of Israel to be watchmen. To warn the children of Israel. Wake them up. You know, from that dry bone state of mind. Wake up the valley of the dry bones, and that's what the uh, the service, the prophets, the representation and mouthpiece of the men of the Lord. That's what you see in the children of Israel, you know. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 28. Because we, you know, we we seeing these uh, signs uh, that's taking place on the planet Earth, you know. With these, uh, the revelations, 11 to 14, second world was passed, we go third world coming quickly. We seeing increasing wars, wars and rumors of wars, nations against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. These uh, major draft, drastic weather events, which they call climate change or mother nature, is really the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, shy doing these things. You know, we see seeing uprises and uprolls in the people in the world. We see in the digital currency, which is that MOTB uh, coming soon, we see in that as well, too. So I just want to add, you know, add those notes to that. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 28. And when, and when these things begin to come to pass, which it is, because we see the signs of that, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draft now, right? Because our redemption draft now, you know, as being the men and Lord the true servants, the true prophets, just like uh, Matthew 24 and 13 says, he that endure to the end, the same should be saved. And that's the children, that's the children of Israel, the uh, servants, the, the prophets of Yahweh Shah. You know, the mouthpiece and the representation of uh, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah, you know. So if we could be able to endure all these uh, things of these signs that's come to pass, just like I brought up Luke 21 and 28, you know. And it says, I'm going to it again for edification sake. So that's why Romans 13 and 11 is, is definitely important. You know, for now, a uh, high time to wake out of sleep. Because now our salvation is uh, nearer than we believe. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 28. Then when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw nigh. Right, our redemption draw nigh. Because I, I believe uh, the chariot, the UFOs, what they call the UFOs, which is the chariots of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh uh it been uh, reports of uh, Russia shot down a chariot, uh, so called. Because the chariots are powerful. You can't shoot down no chariot or no UFO. <laughs> That's impossible. But, uh, so yeah, we are seeing these, uh, signs of, uh, UFO, these, uh, chariot sightings, you know, around the world. You know, they've been using, uh, these nations, military nations, men using, uh, anti-missile defense systems to shoot down these, uh, chariots. I believe there was two stories of that recently. One with rough Russia that shot down the, uh, 
so-called UFO. And then there was another country. I forgot what military as well too. So we've been seeing two different cases of that as well too. But we've been seeing these uh, chariot sightings. You know, those are chariots that are amplified. He's only got the sun, got the shy as well too, you know. So Luke 21 and 28, I'm bring it out again for the third time. Just for the edification of this uh, lesson, sit down lesson. And then when, uh, and, and when these things uh, to begin to come to pass, and then look up and lift up your head for your redemption draw of nine, right our redemption draw of nine, uh, the servants, the true prophets of Yahweh Shai, you know, which is the men of the Lord, that's out on the highways and byways, preaching the word, truth, and sincerely. And we see under all these uh, signs, which is definitely going to come to pass, but we see an increase in signs of it, you know. And we lift up our heads and look up that our redemption draw of nine, you know, the children of Israel, you know, the uh, sons of the Most High, you know. The uh, real children of Israel, you know, because our redemption draw of nine, you know. And this is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, and to give every man according, and his work shall be. Right, so when Yahweh Shai come back, he's going to give us our works accordingly, you know, and our reward is that salvation. You know, and Lord willing, we join heirs with Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior, you know. You and your works be good or bad, you know, we're trying to be on the good side of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai and join heirs with him. And Lord willing, that our work, uh, reward of our works be good in the sight of the Heavenly Father and the begotten Son Yahweh Shai, you know. So with that, uh, that'll be about it for tonight. Have a sit-down lesson that I want to do. I know it was a long one, but, you know, I want to uh, bring it out, you know. Meek, meekness, humbleness, sincerity, definitely for sure. So, yeah, as I bring out Romans 13 and 11, uh, for, yeah, now it's high time that we got to sleep. For now, our salvation is near than we believe, you know, because we definitely see an increase of signs of that, you know, to uh, warn and wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is the uh, Israelites of Negro descent that's scattered through the four corners of the globe, you know, you know, we are the children of Israel, you know, the children of Israel were dark skinned or dark, dark brown colored. Complected lighter brown to dark brown of Negro descent back then, and they are the descendants right back on this planet Earth in modern day times, you know. And that's why it's important for the children of Israel to wake up in these latter days, even though the remnant is going to be saved. One third of remnant and two thirds are not going to wake. So now, Romans 13 11 is definitely a port for now it's high time to wake out of sleep because our salvation is nearer than we believe and then i definitely brought out the four of first people four and seven you know watching and watching pray and therefore be sober you know that we continue to pray that the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh shy keep us in good grace you know and ask for his mercy and forgiveness you know cleanse us from our sins, you know, and continue uh, to do the will of the work of the Lord to the uh, best of our ability, and wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and continue to uh, be a watchman unto the house of Israel, as we see these uh, signs and prophecies that's taking place on the planet Earth, you know, slowly but surely increase, you know, so with that, uh, hopefully this lesson was edifying. 
Hopefully this lesson was being reached out to the children of Israel. That's why I brought out Romans 13 and 11. For now is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe, you know. To wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. While they still have time of repentance, you know. So with that, once again, I hope this uh, sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahushai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakhar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the uh, Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. Until next time, I will say Shalom.